Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to another edition of the Snap series, this time classic snaps that spark salt. The basics of this series is I gather up some snaps, and then we see what happens. That's the entire shebang. There's no planning, there's no script. I have no idea where this is going, and that's the fun and the misery of it at the same time. Let's get started right off the bat with a print I cannot pronounce that says Foray Profonde? There are several French viewers that just cringed into a near singularity. I don't know how to pronounce that. No one tell her that her pet dog is actually a small statue of a tiny deer. That's my first thought on that. My second thought is that this hussy is not wearing a blouse. For a profond, more like paint me like one of your French whores. That was a Titanic reference but I twisted it. You've got a painting on your dress. I can't tell what's on it. Maybe it's more naked people, considering the nakedness of your shoulders. Young lady, where is your blouse? Your dog isn't even a dog. It's a tiny deer which you have leashed. Honey, it's not going anywhere. That's all I've got to say about this one. Next one. This next one is from Victorian Maiden. I can pronounce that word. Michael Jackson gloves. Also tartan. Next. Ah, another Victorian maiden snap. We always have people complaining. Why don't you cover classic releases? This is why. Because classic, judging by that suitcase, has already packed up its bags and left. Your time is over. Jesus Christ, I don't mean that. But as a sweet Lolita, I kind of mean that. No, honestly, what am I looking at here? What is there to look at? We have some strange wallpaper. We have some floral fabric. Wake me up when it's over. Wake me up when it's winter, quite frankly. Florals for spring, inspired. I stole that joke. What do I say about this? What is there to say about this? I'm falling asleep just looking at it. Next image. This one is also from Victorian Maiden, because this video is actually subtitled Pick on Victorian Maiden Day. Honestly, that's too much smug for Carpet That Ugly. She looks like she's either high or terribly proud of herself, both of which are wrong. Burn the carpet. Burn the carpet. I am as empty as the expression on this woman's face. This does nothing for me. Next. Sweet Jesus! This is also from Victorian Maiden, and the first thing they need to do is close that lid and nail it shut. Cause that thing is coming to kill people. Jesus Christ, I think that's one of the, that lady who's known for making those odd little doll heads that give me fucking nightmares. She's just coming out of the coffin with smoke for some reason. The only thing that should be smoking is the burning wreckage of that fracking coffin after they nail her in it and set it ablaze. Jesus. I don't know what to say about this other than kill it with fire. I like her dress. I know that's not salty, but I, I like her dress. It's a nice dress. It's good to be buried in, but I can't with the doll mask. I can't. All right, I can see, I can see the artistic value in the doll mask, okay? I can see that, you know, maybe the amount of work and skill and craftsmanship that goes into it makes it a worthy kind of artistic statement, if you could call it a statement other than, hey kid, you want some new nightmares? But when you add the weird little doll masks to Lolita fashion, it screams costume, and that is, everything that our community is fighting again. So anytime I see one of those weird little doll heads, I'm like, great, just, it, you are a living doll now. Great, good job, that's where we're at, living doll. Like we can't even pretend that it's not that anymore. Like you're doing a disservice, one to my psyche, because I'm gonna need therapy after looking at this thing, and two to the community at large. Like just shut the fracking coffin door, put the nail in the coffin, and then set it on fire. That's what I want. Don't know why I snapped when I said that. Maybe it's a self-defense snap, because I this thing's gonna be crawling out of my closet in my dreams. I'm gonna bill her for my therapy, that's what I'm saying. Next image. This one is from Innocent World, look at that. We stopped picking on Victorian Maiden for like five fracking seconds, and this dress is gorgeous. It's honestly gorgeous. I love the neckties, I love the bows, I love the little gathers of, I don't know what you call those, those little loops of lace. It's like big scallops and pretty sleeves and great bows, and you know how she ties it off? with some fracking galoshes. That's how she ties it off. All this elegance around her, and she said, you know what I'm gonna wear today? Galoshes. Jesus fracking Christ, she gave herself, gosh darn elegant, cankles. Cankles! I don't know why this makes me so mad. It's because the dress is so pretty, and so layered, and so gorgeous, and she's just like, eh, galoshes. Jesus. I think that's maybe why she's looking off to the side, hoping we won't notice her fracking shoes. If it was raining, it would be raining shame. That's all I'm gonna say. Next one. Gosh darn it. All right, this one's also from Innocent World, and it's hard to say mean things about this one because she is irritatingly wholesome. Just irritatingly wholesome. Her little 
face always looks so gosh darn happy and you want to squeeze her. How do you even say something mean about her? I know they don't use her anymore and that's kind of sad and that's why this image is like made for ants. That's why it's so small, because it's old. But back in the day, she and I think her near identical looking sister, that was weird, there's a whole backstory for that, were models for Innocent World, and they just look so gosh darn wholesome. They just look like they were just well-meaning people, well-meaning girls that had just been taken off the street for this underwater basket weaving fashion, and were just like, put on this dress and smile. And she just couldn't say no. So she just smiles with a, a well-meaning air. Like, this is fine. I'll do you the favor. It's fine. And I'm making up a whole story about how she ended up there. That's not how she ended up there. But she's just so fracking wholesome. That's the only word that comes to mind when I look at this girl. And I almost can't criticize her for it, because she's just like a small dog. Like, it would be like kicking a small dog. She's just a cute little dog, and if you kick her, your soul would die just a little inside. I don't know why I compared her to a dog. She doesn't look like a dog. She's very cute. Her smile kills me. How am I supposed to say terrible things about this woman? She has such a, a wholesome, well-meaning, sincere smile on her face, and the head tilt, you know, of like a loyal dog that greets you at the door. Like, you're not gonna kick that dog. There we go, comparing her to a dog again, but that's the best I can do because dogs are irritatingly wholesome. Have you ever been greeted by a dog at the door and they're just shaking their ass like they haven't seen you in 50,000 years? It's been five minutes and you stepped out for a coffee? That's what this girl is. She is the dog that greets you at the door with this happy, well-meaning look like, oh, you're back, it's been 5,000 years, I've missed you so much. And you feel just crippling waves of guilt. And that is how I feel trying to insult this woman. It's too difficult. It can't be done. Maybe it can if you have no fracking soul, because I'm sure plenty of you are going to go into the comments and say, oh, I have 50,000 things to say about this woman. Well, you're dead inside. Because this woman is gorgeous and cute and sweet and wholesome, and it hurts me to even think bad things about her. She's broken me as a person, and that's where we're going to end this, because I can't say anything mean to that face. Be nice to Fido. Ending that. So, for what it's worth, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for watching Scarfing Scarves. This has been Tyler. I'd like to thank my patrons for making this recent upping in content possible. You guys are the best fracking community I could ask for. I know I've said that several times now, but I fracking mean it. Like, we're at three videos a week now. That's Fracking amazing, and that's you guys. So thank you. And if you would like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more content that the public hasn't seen yet. Like I said, the patrons are a week ahead now. Sneak previews, ask me questions, watch me crumble as a human being. It's fantastically awful. And you can find that at patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.